I think one of the useful concepts to, to think about and wrestle with uh, when we deal with these type of subjects and we deal with different cultures than our own uh, is the concept of Manichaeanism, the whole notion of black and white, good and evil, but them and us, right. them and us, and we are dichotomies. They are unlike us. We are unlike them. And if you do his history seriously, it's just not simple like that. That you can see many points of resonance, uh, many points of overlap, many points of similarity, which may be creative, may be constructive, may reflect real dynamic interrelations. They may be negative. War, imperialism, atrocity. Uh, but this helps you break away from that sense of them and us and begin to see, once you begin to see complexity in others, you begin to see complexity in yourself. When I, when I was young, I went to Japan. Uh, as a uh, undergraduate, uh, I went to Japan in the late 1950s, and I went there because it was far away. That's all I knew about Japan. I knew nothing. I had never taken a course. It was as far away as I could go be, without being on my way back to the United States. So I went, to, I went to Japan. And one of the experiences is, and I think almost anyone who travels, is by going to these foreign countries and going to a different place, you learn about yourself. You don't just learn about the other. And I think when you wrestle with history, when you see and visualize the past in these comparative perspectives, you think much more in a more nuanced way than simple ethnocentrism, simple nationalism, simple us and them. I think it's a very important part of being educated. I agree.